Welcome to Store Secondary College Expo. I'm Mr. Brearley and I'll be taking you through information technology for Year 9 and 10. So you'll be understanding today what the subject of information technology is at Year 9 and 10 level. We have our core area of studies are hardware, software, networking and programming. These core areas of studies will help you gain an understanding of how a computer system works as a whole, including how mesh networks work to deliver you internet and also programming and how we have to make considerations before we start to program about the type of software that we want to produce and what that's going to look like. Under hardware you'll be able to define the following terms. You'll be able to learn how to re remove and insert the majority of these components into a computer. You'll also understand the relationship between components. So the relationship between the CPU and RAM and the motherboard, the relationship between the graphics card and the Northbridge, the relationship between the PCI Express port and the graphics card. And you'll understand how these computer components work. So as learning about how they work, we'll be learning about the fetch execute cycle of the CPU. We'll be learning about RAM and how RAM is split into megahertz and megabytes. And we'll understand what those terms mean in the way that a computer interacts. Under software, we'll be learning about different types of software. We'll be understanding how software has design, logical flow, text and graphics, and how these affect us as a user, but also how it affects us as a creator. So how do these elements function together to create an end user experience? So in essence, we're looking at how the design, the logical flow, text and graphics of software allow a user to interact with it in the most pleasant way possible and to have a good experience with the software. There's nothing like playing a game where the UI user interface is absolutely terrible and when you click to put an item from your inventory into the hand of your character that it goes to the head. Under networking, we'll be looking at what a network is. We'll be looking at network topology. Now network topology is the structure of the network. We'll be looking at how the components work together to create a network and what components are needed to create a network. And then how does that function? So the, topolo the topology of the network will also give us an indication of how that network is going to function. And your job will be to understand how this all works together to create a viable network where computer can communicate with computer. Under programming, we're looking at different forms of programming language. We'll primarily focus on Python and we'll be using a compiling program called EarSketch which uses music to help you understand programming. We'll also look at some of the common error messages that you see in programs such as a logical syntax and a runtime error. Uh, these error messages are something you need to be familiar with as when you start using EarSketch you may run into these errors. Resources, you need your digital technologies workbook. And this workbook can be found um, at Ballarat Books or you can order it through the front office. Um, and it has both the year nine and year 10 curriculum in it because the curriculum is too large to fit into just one year. <clears throat> so I use a variety of assessment. Um, there is a written theory test on the hardware components. Now this can be quite challenging as these may be new concepts that you're learning. And the test is asking you to show your understanding of how these components work and what they are, what they do. The practical test is looking at putting a computer together to show me that you understand where the components go. Then we can have a design assessment. Now we could use that in many forms. We could do something around networking where you design your own home network for gaming. Um, you could do it around programming where you put a portfolio together of designing um, a musical program within eSketch. Or it could be that you want to put together a project 
which looks at 3D printing and you might get another couple of people on board and you might go through a design process with you know, a teacher who has some stuff they want to print it out and then you can put together a outline of how you're going to go about that. So there's a lot of variety of ways that we can set up the assessment within IT um, because we have that ability to be a hands-on subject in terms of um, you know, 3D printing and programming and so on. We have that ability to work with your students to create an assessment which can help you understand the key components of what information technology is. It can be a difficult subject because we are talking about quite a bit of science um, and we're also talking about some mathematics um, as well. Um, but if you do have a love of computers and you want to find out about how they work, then this subject can help you do that. 